Hi guys welcome back to another tutorial. This is what I will be showing you how to make this time. They run when they hear that the thing goes bang. <laughs> First of all screen record all the clips you need from YouTube. This chance for Tielemans. Oh what a strike from Yuri Tielemans. He's done it again. Including the audio. They run when they hear that the thing goes bang. <laughs> After that go to CapCut and press Create Project. Add the two videos you just screen recorded. And press the Extract Audio button from the audio video. Then delete the actual video. If you are making a YouTube short or a TikTok, then it is important that you press format and then 916. Next trim the video to where you want to. Do the same at the end. They run when they hear that the thing goes bang. Chance for Tielemans! You can also trim the audio and delete the cap cut ending. Then zoom into where the ball is at the start and add only one keyframe right at the start by pressing this button. Every time the ball goes out of view, move the clip and a keyframe will automatically be added. Like this. When the ball moves faster you need to leave smaller gaps between each move. It should look like this. They run when they hear that the thing goes bang. On your edit if you want to get rid of the commentary then make the volume zero on the actual video. I'm deciding to keep it in this example. Next, you will need to match the beat drop, and when the ball enters the net, so they are at the same time. When the ball does enter the net press the split button, and then press on the end clip. Press animation then in, and then shake 3. Next press overlay, then stock videos, then press the white one. Click on its animations and then out and fade out. Make it the duration of the whole overlay. Then resize it so it covers the whole video. And press splice then overlay. They run when they hear that the thing goes bang. <laughs> and that's how you get the cool flash on your edits. If you have a watermark or logo you want to add then press overlay and add the image. Resize it, and move it to where you want. Then go to chroma key, and make the intensity just the right amount to see just the logo. Then go to adjust, and add these adjustments. Then go over to splice again, and press overlay. And pull it so that it covers the whole duration of the video. They run when they hear that the thing goes bang. <laughs> and that is now part one done. If you are finding this video useful, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. If you would like to add extra detail, then you can add a recording sticker in the corner. Follow what I am doing. They run when they hear that the thing goes bang. Chance for 
Finally export the video by pressing the button in the top right corner. Next go on to the Alight Motion app if you would like to get 4K quality. Then press the plus at the bottom and make sure these are the settings you are using. Then press Create Project. Then press the other plus in the corner and then click Media and add the video you just exported. Then resize it so that the watermark is not covering the video. Then duplicate the layer by pressing this button. Click on the duplicated layer then go on to Effects and then Gaussian Blur. You can choose what strength you would like to use, but I prefer to use 270. Then also add Exposure and Gamma, but make the Exposure minus 40. Then press the arrow to go back, and then go on to Blending and Opacity. Scroll down to Difference and press Subtract. At this point, it is to Dark. Then press the plus, add a square, and then make it white. Resize it so that it just about covers the screen. Then press Blending and Opacity and go down to Contrast. And press Overlay. Use two fingers to make the full video in view and then lengthen the shape so that it covers the whole of the video. Like this. <laughs> Lastly, press on the duplicated layer and make the volume zero. Export the video by pressing the button in the top right corner, then click export and press the circle that is next to no thanks. I like the watermark. Click continue. That is now part to complete. I hope you are enjoying so far. Click Save. Head back over to CapCut and make a new project. Add the video you just made. It is important again that you make the format 916. Then resize the video so that none of the watermark or white edges are visible. Then delete the CapCut ending or any access white at the end of the video. They run when they hear that the thing goes bang. <laughs> you can also add an animation at the end by pressing animation, then out and fade out. Finally, export the video. And that is your edit finished. If you want to know how to post your YouTube short, then follow what I am doing. They run when they hear that the thing goes bang. They run when they hear that the run when they hear that the thing goes bang. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Any support is appreciated. Bye. They run when they hear that the thing goes bang. <laughs> <laughs>